guys, this is Maria. Welcome to Beautiful Parenthood. In this video, I will cover our breakfast options. If you watched my uh, How to Handle Terrible Tooth video, you know that we've tried dairy-free and wheat-free diet for my daughter, who is three. Um, ever since we started it, we eliminated milk completely from her diet. However, we did bring in uh, back wheat because I don't have sh I don't think she has a sensitivity. So the way I film this video I will give you the options for dairy free and wheat free ideas and some of the traditional ideas and traditional diet. I'm not a fancy cook uh, and what I look at mostly is the nutrition. Plus I like to the meals to be easy because I have two children and it's a lot of work. So what I usually make sure of that they get vegetables, protein, and uh, vitamins and minerals from berries, fruits, and all other um, whole foods. Our most common breakfast is just an omelet. And what I typically do, I do three scrambled eggs for me, my son, and my daughter, and we all share it. I add whatever I have in the fridge, honestly. It's typically peppers, spinach, uh, mushrooms, bacon, or ham. If I don't have something, it's just, you know, wherever floats our boat. And uh, on the side, I usually do either slices of avocado or an avocado spread. One thing I do differently, typically for the omelets, I use avocado oil. It has a lower smoking point than um, olive oil and some other oils, and it's really healthy. And it doesn't have a very strong taste, so it's actually great, very, very light. Love it on salads too. And the option uh, that is the most common in our household is the oatmeal. And I just uh, buy old fashioned oats that are organic. And uh, for baby Justin, I still do baby oatmeal. I use a berry mix from Costco. And uh, I wanna show you something. Instead of butter, I started using this coconut butter. And it's absolutely amazing. I actually started using it because of one of the vegan uh, recipes, like a vegan chocolate recipe, which I actually also filmed for my channel. You can check it out. Um, but this thing is amazing, uh, even just to eat and like a snack. And I put it in the coconut, uh, in the oatmeal, and it makes it so creamy and tasty. I also put it in shakes. It makes it really nice. So really recommend. Not coconut oil, coconut that I do is also adding a little bit of this grain-free granola to my oatmeal. Um, this is really tasty. It has coconut, almonds, uh, organic honey. The sugars are pretty low. It's only six grams of sugar and it's, it's real tasty. And it's actually a great snack on the side too. Another idea for breakfast, which actually includes the granola that I just showed you, not free one. Uh, you can buy just plain Greek yogurt. If you're doing there, you, I love the grass milk products. It's called grass, uh, it's called grass milk by Organic Valley. Love those. Or there is also a company called Kite Heal and they make dairy free almond based products and their stuff is really tasty. And it has the most, the least amount of like additional ingredients. So it's, you don't have to worry about all those chemicals. And you can just mix it with that granola if you want to add a little bit more honey and some berries. It's delicious. And it's very filling as well. Sometimes when I'm in a lack of time, I do a shake for breakfast. And you've already seen my shake recipes. I'll just briefly touch on it for those who haven't seen them yet. I use berries, coconut oil, coconut butter, um, peanut butter or almond butter. Then I also have a vegetable mix that I add to it, bananas for sweetness, and just blend it all, and my kids love it. And then I freeze the leftovers, and we make what they call purple yummies, which are basically just the silicone uh, popsicles. About once a week, I do uh, this breakfast. It includes a French toast, or just a toast of bread. I put it in the oven uh, on broil for about two minutes to just make it crisp. Then I uh, also put the, in the oven bacon or ham, and I do some eggs, some avocado spread, and it's just delicious, absolutely yummy. Uh, as an option, what you can do, if you don't do the wheat or gluten, you can do the eggs, you just can mix, you know, scrambled eggs with some ham and wrap it up in uh, a piece of ham, so, and then put some avocado spread. 
You can use slices of avocado or you can just use um, an avocado spread. I buy this from Costco, it's organic and it's really So fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakfast ideas and options. I will also be uh, filming lunch. And I know I promised the massage video, it's coming. My babies are a little bit under the weather, so both of them are sick. So that's why we're sitting at home. And I can't really film massage up until uh, baby Justin, because he's gonna be my model, he's feeling better. I also am gonna be filming day in life, because I had requests for that. Uh, I will try to film it before the school is out, because that's truly my life. And um, I'm gonna be also doing the room tour and the house tour finally. I know I promised house tour so many times, but it seems there's so many projects I want to accomplish before I film it that I just, uh, I never get to it. But now I'm just gonna do it. You know, you'll see it and then it's gonna be an update. I will film an update. So I would love for you to stick around if you're new and please uh, press that subscribe button. Bye-bye.